at those cute little feet. They're really growing in. Look at them go. Don't look at them. Hey, Corv, you think you're starting to warm up to Earth a little? I must admit, with Fun Bucket around, repairing the ship has lost a little bit of urgency. Oh my god, you're gonna make me cry. Have you guys seen the shrink ray? It's usually in the cupboard with the ice cream maker we never use. Hey, I use it to freeze and eat yogurt. <sighs> By the way, when we get home, you're throwing out that ice cream maker. You do not use it for yogurt. Oh my god, have you been sitting on that for an hour? I do too use it. That is the opposite of true. Anymore. Look at the pupa. I told you to stop giving the pupa candy. He can't eat candy. It gets him sick. I didn't. I, I don't give him candy well, anymore. Well, he's getting it from someone. God, one time. Imagine how buffo the box office would We be. forgot to check the nanobots. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you seeing this, Terry? It's working. We're tricking people into being our friends. Oh, this feels so good. I feel so whole. We're popular. Hey, do we have any scissors? I'm in a little over my head here. Shut the fuck up, Terry. I'm upgrading the nanobots. Like a... <laughs> Did you give him candy again? No. Damn it, Terry. He's getting it from somewhere. And if, if he's not getting it from me, he has to be getting it from I you. I don't know, man. I, I would remember if I did. What but do you mean it, you would it, remember? If he's not me. getting it from you, where is he getting it? I don't it? know, where? okay? Stop yelling at me. I'll yell at you as much as I want. Um, Corvo, you don't really do well in a social setting. It's kind of like your thing. Mm, your reverse psychology has worked, Terry. Nothing will stop me from joining you at this child's birthday party. Uh. Yay, Corvo! Oh, God, he's dead! My Corvi! No! What can I say about Corvo? Corvo was easily the least popular person in the house, and he smelled like whole milk. But we're still gonna miss him. Ugh, I'm sorry, it, uh, I didn't want to do it right here. I wanted to do it later, in a bathroom. There. You're alive! Oh, Corvo, you, you're alive! Alive you're... like a fox. All right, look, breathe. The only thing that matters is today we're getting a jet ski. By this afternoon, we're gonna be jumping the wake, gleaming the cube, docking the dog. Okay, so, I'm paraphrasing here. You know I love when you motherfucking paraphrase! Give it to me, baby! Most- Vroom, 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 vroom! Yeah. Wait till you get her on the water. This goes on the water?! What?! Thanks for the jet ski, you're cool, bye! Joe. Son of a bitch took my jeans out of the freezer! Uh, I did that. Oh my god, Trent is gonna be here soon. If he sees that and thinks someone has asked me to blow them, there's no way he's gonna sell us the jet ski! No, 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 easy, big guy. Don't get stressed. That's what he wants. Okay, we still have time to clean it up! We can't tell the replicants anything about the Red Goobler. I know Yummy Lack will have night terrors and he'll end up sleeping in our bed again. Damn. I'm sorry for your loss. Was he a good friend? No, he was more than that. He was a jet ski. I feel like the Googler's on my back. Is he on my back? For the millionth time, no. Wait, is he on my back? No, you're clear. Enemy me again why we aren't just killing this a-hole? If we do, then in a way he wins. Maybe by cutting him open and studying his insides, I can learn how to control my stress instead of just avoiding Aww, it. Aw, that's nice, Corvo. But I still say we light this little cunt on fire. Oh, language, Terry! Sorry, I'm just all jacked up on green tea Kit Kat. Where is the red Googler? I killed him. Damn, Terry, that's cold. Yeah, I just, um, I, kn I knew as long as he was alive, you would always worry about him escaping, and I wanted you to have a just less stress in your life. I care about you, man. So I chopped up his body and I fed it to the pigs and I shot the pigs in his space. So don't worry, those pigs are safe. Well, no, they're not. That is the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. Thank you, Terry. Oh, I feel so relaxed. I took a bath, just a soak. Didn't even wash my junk. Nobody's hunting me anymore and it feels good, Terry. Feels right. Uh, yep, feels great. Good night. Uh, I will now enjoy the stress-free sleep of safety. Terry, a, a little help. Really? You're too lazy to even look at me? Ugh, I'm limiting myself to three neck movements a day. I only got one left. We need to refacet the dorsal prism. The levotic reactor needs more ah. Uh, and you paired your phone to the ship stereo and I don't know how to get it off. If I have to listen to the Gone in 60 Seconds soundtrack one more time... Oh, wait, Terry, you like school? Heck yeah, dum-dum. School rules. Really? You know, we could go to school, too. Oh, I wish. There is a school for adults behind the cement factory, Terry. There is? Yes, we could go there. We could get smart and compete for the teacher's approval. Or we could meet cool girls, join a frat, and never work on the ship. Or you can learn responsibility, become a better person, and help me with the ship. Terry and Corvo, going to school for the exact same reason. Hey, do I look cool? I think I look cool. First day of school, baby. Terry, <laughs> stop acting like a spaz and just be cool like me. Spooky robes are not cool. You're just jealous of my swish. God, that's so you're the one who wanted me to zap myself with a smart gun. Now that's an example of an appropriate use of corner cutting. And I'll tell no, you- No, I won the argument. Better hurry or you're gonna be late. And then you'll have to take a shortcut to class, and I know how much you hate those. I like my notes in blue ink. Learn. Can't you just make me glasses that allow me to see through people's bodies so I can cheat off of them? Obviously, yes, but not in time for the test. Wait, no, I'm, I'm not helping you cut corners anymore. Now! Please don't make me dumb. None of my podcasts are gonna make any sense. If you're dumb and I'm dumb, then we can be dumb together! Yes, that plan is dumb. Uh, Do you want to buy everything on the McDonald's menu and smoosh it together into a big ball and then eat it with a knife and fork with me? Yes, a million times, yes. Don't worry, I know what to do. Uh, uh, I'm boning an alien, bro! Uh, I just want you to know, if I don't make it out of this, it has been the great honor of my life to come to Earth with you. Corvo, I love I'm you. Gonna go Something without taking a shortcut. 
what, what are you doing? Hey, whoa, whoa, I thought you were sending signals. What? Corvo, let's just be real here. Please, 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 can we have a man cave? Yes. What? Oh, really? Oh, man, you should have held out. I was going to offer to suck Heaven your... Is, which means we'll have to build a robot that hates us being in the man cave. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Terry. 85, 83. Are you using your abacadactyls like a baby? What, what, what are you, 80? Ah, now I have to start over. I call her P-A-T-R-I-C-I-A. It stands for Patricia Automated Television Retrofitted Intelligent Companion in Action. You know what? It's okay if you made that up to fit. You chose a name with two I's and two A's. That's already hard. Imp Where have you been? Um, um, uh, just making this delicious Sunday. By yourself. Uh -huh. Terry, you're lying. You don't know how to peel a banana. I always have to do it for you. What? These things cost $11 billion a shoe. Do they light up? Mine do. Oh, why do you get the cool ones? Because I'm in charge. <gasps> it's young you. Damn, girl, you used to be way skinnier. Oh, seriously, st stand next to yourself. See the difference. You have let yourself go. It should then be in the ship when we return to the present. <laughs> Are you missing on purpose just to make me giggle? Stop watching me. It's working. Don't watch me do this. So we really slam dunked it. Look at us. We're ballers. We are ballers. Huh? Oh. Yeah! Yes, yes, yes. All yeah, right. Oh, look, hey, it's the past us meeting for the first time. Oh, look at that. Work colleagues, I just met my assigned pupa specialist, and he is... Handsome. He's going to say handsome. And either the better. You and I have never done anything good together. Oh, wow. Look how cute the replicants are. Oh, they really are. We're all cute. Would you look at us, two regular aliens with their replicants, thinking that they're going to go out into space and terraform a rogue moon or something. We had no idea what we were in for. <laughs> you no, know, Terry, we spent so much time on Earth pretending to be a family, I didn't even notice when we actually became one. We may not have chosen each other, Terry, but we've built a good life. I don't want to throw that away. And neither do I, Corvo. 